Welcome back everyone, this is Sarah Felton playing Dungeon Breaker. Let's go get that hammer. Uh, last time we explored pretty much this entire area, beat an optional boss in the form of an ancient dragon, and found a treasure chest with a battle on top of it that is most likely the alchemic hammer that Clave is looking for. And was the whole point we came here for in the first place. That's interesting. This looks like the boss of the second layer of the ruins, but it has a different name. I believe that is the Guardian of the Hammer. So I'd say we're on the right track. She has her break force ready. Raise everyone's speed. Does she have an attack up? Yeah, she does have an attack up. So everyone's defense and magic defense increased. Everyone's speed increased, though not by much. Everyone's attack increased by some. That's interesting. Poison and seal. Do I have a multiple status cure? Fusion, please, burns. to the seal, because that's the most important one. She needs to be able to use magic. Right. And yeah, she can just heal. And this does have some annoying attacks, but compared to the Ancient Dragon, it's pretty insignificant. That's interesting. You can still use this. Okay, item... Seal Cure... So attacking with her, she can do some attacking of her own. Almost there. Yeah, insignificant next to the dragon, and there's the alchemic hammer. So that is everything of interest here. You might be able to fight the dragon again if you want. I suppose if you want to test your strength. But for now, let's see how Clave reacts. Okay, weapon shop. It's like, here's that how could a camera you wanted. She seems quite moved that he actually went and got it for her. But can I actually use it properly, she's wondering? It's like, don't talk like that, it's not like you to be so, uh... A Yaki is... it's weak, but it's like in an emotionally weak or, uh, that kind of way. It's not exactly cowardly, it's more like timid, I guess? So yeah, that's definitely not like her. So here, take it, you won't know until you try. And the hammer is talking. The first lady's hand I've felt in a thousand or a hundred years. Yeah, Onigo is woman or girl. Maybe a bit uh, condescending. Not really sure. Anyways, saying my name is the alchemic hammer. A magic hammer with the soul of a swordsmith. Magic hammer? Indeed. But the hammer is bursting. If you just swing me, even a woman who hates the word power even more than onions will instantly be able to forge swords on the level of a legendary blacksmith or legendary novel. You don't need training or study. Uh, I forge the swords for you. 
So all you need to do is hold me. Is this true? Yes, I do not lie. But that's not your own strength then, so it's not really something to be praised for. She's seriously looking to become a blacksmith for real, so she's not going to use that. And of course she's not listening to him and not doing what he expects her to. Yes, I can forge swords. Even I can forge swords. My father's sword is being greatly strengthened. That kind of a crazed laugh, and now I'm a legendary blacksmith. Uh, yeah, I kind of thought so. So, it looks like weapons forging is a new option here. So apparently, if you have the correct ingredients, you can make new weapons here. And just weapons. No consumables, no others. So starting from the top, we have uh, Mistletane. I believe that's a legendary sword. A yeah, replica of a legendary sword from Myths. In addition to gold, you need ingredients. So that takes the Murasami Blade and Orokalkum. So that's what those ores that you can make at Lanes are for. Uh, Heaven Dragon's Greatsword takes some Mithril and Diamonds. Uh, crystal Short Sword takes Fire Crystals and Water Crystals. You can make one of those. So it tells you how many you have, so that's kind of nice. Uh, Bunak? Not sure what that is. Uh, Long-armed Rue? Some kind of spear that the long-armed Rue used. Uh, that takes an Earth Lance and a uh, Heaven's Drill to make those. Kaiser Knuckle takes Mithril's and Dragon Claw. Uh, Behemoth Fang takes uh, Beast Fang and Orokalkum. Ukon Basara? Not familiar with that. Some kind of legendary hammer that causes lightning, I think that says. That takes Mithril and Orokakum. And Orokalkos Staff takes Orokalkum and gold. So that's kind of neat. And if you come to Lee now, she starts calling him Master and it's like, no, Alec. Please take me along on your next expedition. I'll bring plenty of medicine. I suppose that explains her free medicine skill. I'm trying to think of it. Wasn't there something here? Yeah. Um, at yeah, the end of an era breastplate. It's a bunch of spikes on it, apparently. It's made from monster fangs, monster claws, and monster horns. But I do have enough to make one. Make ruby earrings. I cannot make another one of those pendants. You need the special coin that Pedlar had in her event. And the only thing that seems to do is give the event where bad things happen to Dina, so... You can make more of these boots, Ben. They still don't seem to be good for anything. Yeah, I have a lot of Orichalcum ore, so I can just make a bunch of these. Decent amount of mithril, too. I don't think the ore itself is good for anything else, so just make all of those. Let's see what Celsius says. She asks how the expedition is going. So so. She's encouraging him to press on and make it to the very depths. Okay, so let's head back to the main dungeon. There is conveniently healing right here. Which sort of reminds me of the actual final dungeon. But obviously this is not the same place. So let's look around. This looks like a door. And we have boss music here, which is 
unexpected. We have a Longhorn, which should be the Minotaur. Uh, Deathwing is the bird. A Rukia Chimera. Not sure what Rukia means, but it's a kind of Chimera. And a uh, Baze Reptile. Okay. And the maze reptile is joining. So nothing too special. It's a blue dragon's key. So it looks like we're going to be collecting keys to get somewhere. And yeah, we're just getting boss music here. And the monsters are fairly strong, but that seems a bit of an exaggeration. Just fought three antenna mages at once. Not that difficult, especially since they're pretty squishy. They could probably be pretty dangerous if they got the chance to attack, but they're fairly slow and don't have much health. And a Deathwing is joining. There's the White Tiger Key. So these are sounding like the four um, divine beasts of the almonds, or cardinal directions of the sky from Chinese mythology. They come up pretty often. Suzuku, Genbu, Byako, and Seiryu. Nothing in that one. And a Longhorn is joining the party. We got kind of beat up that time. Fortunately, I have plenty of healing, and there's the recovery point nearby if I need it. And one of those Chimeras is joining. empty little room. I think I'll just finish out the top section for now. Of course the door is on this side because it's not on the other three. Yeah, these monsters can do a lot of damage, and it doesn't help that they're also pretty fast. And that one's also empty. And I think I'm going to stop it for now, but uh, yeah, some grinding may be in order. The monsters here are pretty tough, they're pretty fast, they can do a lot of damage. So I think I'm going to build up the party a bit more before continuing. But later then, we have this whole big area to explore. And if I'm not mistaken, the map is taking up more of the screen than it 
does in a lot of areas, so this is going to be a pretty big location. And the uh, design of it has been so far unlike anything else we've seen, which is also kind of interesting. But for now, this has been Arafelin playing Dungeon Breaker. Come back next time and we will keep exploring this area. Hope to see you then!